Let's talk about why I like to buy cheap stuff. What's up friends, Liron here. Thank you for joining me in another video. My nose is a little sneezed. I have this weird allergic reaction to something like dust. I cleaned my room a lot lately and uh, so I kind of hate my voice. It's a bit nosy. You will forgive me if you can notice it in the recording. Anyway, I want to talk to you today about why I like to start cheap with buying tools and equipment related to mainly watercolor but anything, any art related activity that I do. And so some of you may heard in a different video, uh, I talked about it just a bit, how I like to start with cheap equipment. Now, in the beginning, I was uh, doing my research and I actually started buying stuff, uh, what I could find here in Israel. And there's not a lot of um, like the top, top quality stuff just don't get here. And so you either need to order it of Amazon or eBay um, and uh, it can be really expensive or you can um, kind of special order it and it just there's not enough but it's just of the really good stuff like the medium level and low level we get it and so um, I started doing this by accident I just got whatever there was in the store and so I remember starting with a very cheap watercolor paper which is better than what a lot of people do they start with normal paper not even watercolor paper so I started with watercolor paper but really cheap uh, not the kind I like it was very thin very flimsy it would buckle on me all the time and then I decided to buy a more expensive one that I could still find here uh, in the store so I got that and it's it's hugely more expensive, it's significantly more expensive here than in other places that I saw like Europe or um, I don't know, um, other art stores, even in the US when I compare the prices. So I got a more expensive uh, paper and it was just really fun and the thing is because I got so used to the sake paper uh, the new one was I just I was just better the paintings were better and I really appreciated uh, how I'm doing with it and so I decided to make it kind of like an experiment and to first try and buy the cheaper equipment and then try and compare so I, I got uh, the paints that were relatively cheap as well I got the Windsor Newton Cotman series which is uh, a little cheaper that the main uh, Windsor Newton line. It's uh, this one, the Cotman is um, it's student grade, not artist grade. And then I got a hair. Um, uh, yeah. <laughs> and then um, I started buying the more expensive one. So I, I st tried Daniel Smith and now I tried like a ch an even cheaper one. I went back in quality with the My Artscape. And uh, the thing is, when I try, tried Daniel Smith's for the first time, I was amazed, it was really good. And again, I saw that many of the faults that I had in my paintings weren't necessarily related only to me. They weren't only my fault, it was also the, the tools I was using. Same with brushes, let me show you. I started with this one here, it's a Princeton, uh, this brush. And, you know, it's not that terrible, but the hair on it, uh, it's it's really weird and I didn't find that I was getting the results I wanted with it and then I moved to the uh, silver black velvet these ones and suddenly life's much uh, easier and so the reason why I buy cheaper stuff to begin with is first because I want to um, really stretch my abilities to the power of the medium I'm using or the, the equipment I'm using uh, because I think if you can master it, sometimes it's, it just becomes easier with the more expensive ones. And I also like to just feel the, uh, the sort of difference between the two, the um, contrast between the two. So when I move to something that's more expensive, it's just, oh, it's so much easier, you know. And it's not the cheaper, the cheaper way, what I'm doing. I mean, I end up paying more because uh, I could just go for the top level one and not just waste my money on cheaper and then cheaper and then a little more expensive and then getting the what ended up happening is that I have the really cheap the relatively cheap and then the more expensive and I have all of them and so I could just go straight for this one but I didn't um, so it's really not that <laughs> necessarily the cheaper way uh, but if you take your time and sort of um, learn how to master a cheaper uh, brush or a cheaper medium and you don't hurry too much to get the more expensive one you can you can end up um, 
it, not wasting too much money. Okay, so just, just my two cents on why I actually like to start with cheaper equipment. This is it, I hope this gave you some kind of another um, view or another perspective on what type of equipment you should get because a lot of people get caught up in should I buy the more expensive one, what paper should I start with, what paint should I start with. My advice is first to try as many different types as possible if the budget allows it and if not then just start with maybe a cheaper one and then go up and upgrade the more time goes by. My perspective, I hope you learned something new. If you enjoyed, subscribe to my channel. Tons of new stuff coming out. I'm really enjoying making these videos for you. Uh, don't forget to follow me on Snapchat and Instagram. I post some really cool stuff there. And this is it. I'll see you again in another video really soon. Take care.